Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, as you guys already know that the development of a launcher launcher has been stopped and it is uh, no longer updated on Google Play Store or anywhere else. Uh, then a team of uh, new developers started building uh, a newer version of a launcher launcher from the scratch, uh, which is a design for those devices uh, running on Android 11. This uh, newer version of a launcher launcher is updated uh, almost every month, uh, but not on Google Play Store. Uh, uh, it's updated on their official Telegram channel and APK Mirror. I will leave a link to both in the description if you guys want to download this uh, newer version of uh, launcher launcher. Uh, but please uh, note that uh, the newer version of launcher has uh, less features than the older version because it's being developed now, and it can be said for sure that. Uh, uh, new features will be getting added every now and then. <clears throat> uh, that's, the re that's the reason I wanted to make this video to make you guys aware of the latest features that this uh, newer version of Launcher has to offer. Uh, actually it was updated recently around a week back uh, with some more features. So without wasting any time let me take you guys straight to the main point. Uh, if you guys want to download uh, this launcher, what you guys need to do is that you need to download uh, this uh, launcher launcher from APK Mirror or uh, the office or their official Telegram channel. And uh, one more thing uh, you guys need to do is that you need to download the latest version of Lawn Feed if you want to enable Google Feed on the main home screen. Uh, you want to you need to download the latest version of Lawn Feed because the older version of Lawn Feed will not work on this newer version of uh, Launcher. Uh, now, now uh, what, you, what you guys can do on home screen is that you can swipe up for uh, app drawer and you can swipe down for uh, notifications. So that's all what you can do on the home screen. Now let me take you to the settings of this launcher by long pressing on the home screen. So once we go to the uh, la this launcher settings, uh, uh, now let me go to the general settings. In general settings what you can do is that you can change your icon pack. And you can also enable this option for auto adapt to icons. If you want to, if you want all of your icons to look alike, you can uh, choose this option. And you can also change this background lightness of your icons, of your adapt to icons actually. And uh, what you can do, what you can do here in general settings is that you can also uh, change this notification dots option. For that, you need to give notification access to this uh, launcher. And you can also enable this home screen rotation if you want to use this launcher in a portrait or landscape mode. So that's all what you can do in this in these general settings. Now let me go to the home screen settings here. In home screen settings, uh, what you can do is that you can change the grid and icon size here, and you can also change. For example, you can change the number of rows and number of columns, and as well as you can change the icon size and label size. And one more thing you can do in these home screen settings is that if you want to enable or disable Google feed on the main home screen, you can uh, disable or enable this option show feed. If you are installing any new application and you want that icon to appear on your home screen, you can turn on that option as well. And you can also enable the, this um, at a glance widget. If you, if you don't want this at a glance widget on the home screen, you can disable this option. And uh, this, uh, they also provided this double tap to feature, double, double tap to select feature, which needs uh, accessibility permission. For example, if you want to uh, uh, enable this double tap to select uh, uh, this uh, feature, you need to give accessibility permission to this launcher. So that's all with these home screen settings. Now let me go to the dock settings here. Uh, in dock settings, uh, they have not provided that many options, only if you want to enable or disable the search bar, you can do and you can also change the number of icons uh, in the dock. So that's all with the dock settings guys. Now let me go back and go to do, go to these uh, app drawer settings. In app drawer settings, um, you can uh, hide applications from your app drawer. This is the feature they have added recently. Uh, you can turn you can if you want to hide any applications you can do that by pressing on this option and you can press uh, you know you can click on that particular application which you want to hide and one more thing you can do is that you can if you want to uh, enable this fuzzy search for example let me enable this uh, fuzzy search uh, what this feature can do is that when you this feature will let you search apps based on approximate uh, matching for example if you type let me type th in a search bar so what this feature will do is that it will show you all those apps that are related to these alphabets for example uh, i typed uh, this th it will show me all those applications that are related to these uh, alphabets so that's what uh, this feature can do 
now let me go back to the app drawer settings so you can also change this background opacity and you can also change the number of uh, columns here and you can you can also change the icon size as well as the label size so that's all with this uh, that's all with this uh, uh, app drawer settings guys uh, now one more feature they have provided here is the is what you can do with the folders so these are this is the folder option you can change the number of columns and number of rows in folders the maximum value is 5 for columns as well as rows so we can change the number of uh, columns and rows to, to a maximum of 5 in folders so that's all with these uh, that's all with the folder settings here so these are all the options that are available right now for this launcher and as i already told you guys that this is expected to uh, get updated every now and then actually it's getting updated every month like I told and more features are expected to come in the future and if you want to join the, their telegram channel I will leave a link in the description you can join the telegram channel as well or you can just head over to apk mirror if you want to download any latest version of uh, launcher uh, if it comes in the future so that's all for today's video guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did uh, please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any notifications from my upcoming videos. Uh, thank you guys and see you guys in the next video.